what's poppin'? Jin Bob here. Welcome back to Franbo, you guys. Once again, we are continuing our crazy adventure through the world of Franbo. Today's art is brought to us by Simply Anna 12. Thank you so much for that art, Simply Anna. I really like what you've done with my tree self and the little muffin midnight. Thank you so much for the art, you guys, and all the support that I've received on the series. Love you guys have said this is your favorite series on my uh, channel, so I'm really, really excited to make every single one of these episodes. And every time I play one of these, I just get completely confused because I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I'm stupid. But um, I think... Huh. I think I can start figuring this out. So, flow, flow, cold blooded sun, will body dance through rising stream. I think that's a fish that I need to catch. And, oh gosh, it's been a week. Okay, so I play an episode every week, so I always have to remind myself sort of what I was up to last time. Lion Hollow, I have that one, which is the feather. I think. Hang on. Uh, cold as I am, but if you think I'll be burnt. Cold. Cold. What would, what would be cold and burning? Would it be coal? Is anybody around? Hello? Give me your coal! I can't just take it. Alright, well, what if I talk to him during the uh, springtime? What's up, man? Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruter, and I'm molding this piece of iron. Okay. Is it a weapon? Is it a sword? Can I have it? Can I use it to stab people? Oh, it's a clock piece. You make all sorts of metallic stuff then, right? Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them. And padam, I do it. Alright. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Cool, I guess. Alright, I'm just going to leave. I remember there's something I had to buy. I had coins that I needed for something. Also, how many coins do I have? I have two golden coins. Alright, so I didn't know they stacked last time. I didn't see them stacking, so I guess I'm going to have to keep playing this guy for some more coins. Which means you guys get to watch me lose at Tic-Tac-Toe. I, I really shouldn't have said it that first time around, oh, Tic-Tac-Toe is, you know, it's so stupid. Because it's all just based on a series of moves. I just made myself look stupid. Alright, double trapped. There you go, now I win. Ha-ha! What you gonna do? That's right. Suck it! That's my third golden coin. Do I need another one? I'm gonna get one more just to be safe. Uh, darn it. I don't think I can win anymore. Yeah, I can't win. I just hope that he messes up or something. Please? No. No. Oh, he wins. I probably should have moved at the bottom. Doesn't matter. Come on, I just want that last coin. You, you, you always move at like that pattern, which means I cannot win. Oh wait, he wins anyways. Uh, that. This is so tedious. I can't do anything about that because he double trapped me. So, I know I'm being a bit dumber than usual today. I normally film Franbos in the morning, so uh, my head is still not really working at any capacity. <laughs> so I fully acknowledge that I'm being very stupid right now. I still haven't quite, I haven't even had breakfast yet today, dude. I'm hungry. Um, hmm, hmm. Hang on. I gotta use my brain for just a second. If I move here, that means he has to block here, and then I move here, and then he's double trapped, and I win. Haha. Planning. Alright, that's my fourth coin, I think. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done playing your fucking game. Alright, so now that I have all these coins, what can I buy? I need these coins for something. But I don't remember what. Hmm. Hello, friend. I'm in a hurry. We can talk later. All right, never mind. Can I pay you to do something? Okay, maybe I have to hand it to someone. Uh, here's some coins. Oh yeah, you're right. He was gonna make me something, and the hook. That's what I needed from him. Shit. God. 
It's been so long. It's been a week. God, I have a really short attention span in memory. I need something to tie the hook to the fishing rod. What does he need? Okay, so I need like... Hello? Who's there? Who? Can you not see me? I'm standing right in front of you. Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes! What? Okay, okay. Called me four eyes when I just met you. It's a little rude, don't you think? Um, what are you selling? Is it like plabas? Look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to just be like, Oh, these are coconuts, it's lovely. You just, you just like stare at them in the eye. This is poo. This is poo that I collect. They're not coconuts. <laughs> Alright, well. I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very... Oh, right, because he's like a dung beetle. Okay, that's... The... I... That gets it. <laughs> Alright, well. Good day for good fabric and thread! Ha! Thread! That's what I need. Alright, so, give me a thread. Give me a thread, good man. Yes, you do! You need the fucking thread! Come on! Are you, are you fucking... Are you, are you serious right now? Are, are you fucking serious, Fran? Oh my god. Fran, for the love of god, buy the thread. So you can goddamn tie it to your fucking... It doesn't have a hook and the fishing line is too short. I bought this hook from the smith. It's custom made. I can't combine them. I need something to tie the hook to the fishing rod. Alright, well... I guess if that's the way you want things to be, I still can't catch that fish. So, Alright, well let's take a look at what else I can get. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Shiny as the sun? What's shiny? I don't know, I'm so bad at these. Would you like to join me in the waiting? I gotta get I gotta get home, man. I don't have time to wait. I don't have time to collect your fucking let Wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I think I had a brainwave. Oh hold the fuck on! Hang on! Wait, sh shut up! I don't care. Um A sour smile I'll get you, but I'll never burn you. Is it talking about lemons? Fuck, I gotta I gotta get in here with the ticket. How do I get the ticket again? I don't remember how to get a ticket. Did you find your special ticket yet? The show's about to begin. The show's about to be- I just changed seasons. It's always about to begin. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna pull up the Fran Bo walkthrough without spoilers so I don't spoil anything. I'm not gonna just start reading off of it. But I am stuck. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have to figure out what I do here. Go to coast. So I grab the broken fishing rod. Then I go to the market, and I paid him three coins for the hook, and then showed the fishing rod to the one. Oh, so I have to show him the fishing rod. I have to show him, like, hey, uh, this thing doesn't work. I can't just buy it on my own? All right, well, I guess I'll do that. Hey, bro, would you like to see my fishing rod? Hello, miss. I'm wondering if you have some thread for fishing line. Uh... Fishing line thread? Yes, yes, I have some. Do you want I can't just buy it? I can't just give them the coin? Quite a lot. Is that good? No, I meant price wise. Uh I forgot to think about a prize. You see, I've never sold anything before. You just sit here running a stall and you never sell anything? Oh. Thank you. I hope you sell some prices and sell something soon. I would give you that coin that I just had, but can I can I give it to you anyways? Wow, friend! Wait a fucking... You're terrible! Alright, and then I combine that with that. There we go. Alright, let's go fishing. Just like Pa used to do. I've actually never gone fishing in my life. Dang! She's a master at it! Okay, 
I lied. I went fishing once in my life. And you know what? It was fucking boring because I sat there in the water and nothing happened. Ever. I was there for an hour. So, good on you, friend. You fucking caught a fish instantly. I can't do that. So, I got the fish. I got the pen. No, feather. I need these two. I don't remember how to get this. Okay, so I know... I'm pretty sure, at least, the second one is the lemon. I don't know how to get the ticket to get in. Um, let's check the walkthrough. Hang on. Winter, go to the mountain. That, that, uh, alright, hang on. I, so, clockmaker, give him a coin to fix the big clock, which I've done. Follow him and talk with him against the Four Seasons clock, which is this that I'm standing at right now. Go to the clock to the lemon man room and use autumn to destroy the basket. <gasps> That's horrible! That's horrible! All right. The basket seems to be in good shape. That's good. Because if it weren't, it wouldn't carry stuff, of course. I can't take the basket anyways. It's not mine. So how do I destroy this thing, then? Oh. <laughs> Kitty, I'm going to do something. So act natural. Oh, damn, friend! Damn! That's not how your mama raised you! That's horrible! Fuck! It's terrible, Fran! Why? Why? Holy shit! You stealing shit from this guy! Ah! <laughs> Motherfucker, that's mine! Oh, that's terrible. That's ter don't, don't don't do don't do things like that, you guys. You see, the reason I wouldn't have thought of that on my own is because I'm an inherently honest person. I would never steal stuff like that from someone. And things, you know? That's just bad. Shame on you, friend. Shame. Alright, now I've got to get the last piece, which I think is coal, but I don't know how I'm going to get coal. The only person I can think of that uses coal in this place is the blacksmith. Maybe he'll give it to me if I just ask him? Hey, bro, can I have some coal? No. It's just the same. It's the same piece of dialogue. Alright, let's consult... I feel bad for using the walkthrough so much, but I don't want to spend another entire episode trying to figure out these puzzles because I always get so many comments yelling at me the correct answer. And I feel like I'm wasting people's time whenever I get stuck. So, the coal. I'm just going to go ahead and get that one done so we can move on with the game. So, let's see. It's not coal. Alright, I don't need coal. I think I have everything, actually. The matches, right? The matches. The fish, the lemon, the matches, and the fe- Where's the feather? Where's my feather? I had a feather! Oh wait, I already placed it down on the thing, didn't I? Alright, well, if that's the case, then let's get back to the- Let's- No, no, stop looking at the fucking sign, friend. Let's get back to that place. The top of the mountain, which only appears in winter time! God, that's so cool. I really like the Seasons thing. It really reminds me of like Oracle of Seasons or something. Alright, let's get this figured out. So, matches on the one. And then, uh, lemon on the right. So, lemon on the right. And then matches on top. And then, a fish at the bottom. God. Oh god, it's glowing! Oh no, are we summoning the Satans? Ah, I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Actually, that's just a dead fish. I think I might be rotting at this point. Sorry. Anyways. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. <laughs> yes, we will start with the fire. Oh, hey! Magic stuffs. That's pretty cool. Teach me how to do that. Also, be careful with that, because we're both made out of wood. Kultram has awakened. Kultram is alive. On top of the mountain, he will be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Oh. I mean, I guess it makes sense for wizards to wear a hat. Wizard hat, you know, that sort of stuff. Mm, that's why I can't remember a thing. They're all hidden as wizard tools. Okay, so I gotta bring them all back for him. Alright, let's go get your stones. God, I'm really tired of being a tree already. Whoa, 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 what's this thing? Oh, I can't, I can't, like, actually properly look at it, never mind. Alright, to the top of the mountain I go. Which, trudging up mountains in snow fucking sucks. 
Hey, dude, can I have the hat? Who dares to wake me up? Who? Fran? <laughs> so sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran, I see. I don't know what that means. It's a name. Sort of like Coachman. Well, what does Coachman mean? Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, all right. My name is Coachman. Do you want to know why? Sure. Well, well, well why? Coachman means born in heaven. I used to be a star. Now you're all washed up. <laughs> oh, not that kind of star? Okay. Because I was born in space, it's very logical. Oh, so that means you're a bunch of compressed gases and stuff, right? Cool. I mean, that's sort of what our planet is. It's just a bunch of compressed rock and gases. But okay. I never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, friend. So, what brings you here? I need that hat that's sitting on your head. I can't do that. I'm divorced. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me there's no other way. Please help me. I told you, I can't. My old wife left me. She was the one covering my top. Alright, so this is definitely a riddle of some sort. If I take off the hat, my map can erupt and kill everyone, including you. <laughs> Alright, I'll get your wife back. Now I, now I have to, like, solve people's fucking relationships? It's not a puzzle. I'm just doing other people's dirty work for them. She decided it was time for her to start her own island. So she broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. Aw, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Where is she? I'll, I'll go find her. I'll, I'll bring her back for you, man. Be all like, hey, yo. Coachrim needs you. She's on the water. So I need. I think I need one of those boats. I'll go find her, man. I'll go find her. I'll go find her. Can I put something else on top of your head? Like a rock or something? No. I like this hat. Alright. I'll go get your wife. It's because you like this hat. You guys are weird. So I gotta go find- Oh! Hi! I know you're all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. What, so I can end up like these kids? How about no? Also, I'm a tree now, so fuck off. <laughs> Come to my side. You have many new friends to play- I don't even need new friends. I got Mr. Midnight, I got all these awesome people. Get the fuck out of here. You look very scary and I don't like you. Man, who are you talking to? Oh, no, that I'm just tripping fucking balls, dude. These pills are fucking with my head. Well, I guess I don't have the pills anymore, but you know what I mean. Hey, this is why you, this is why you don't do drugs, guys. This is why you don't do drugs. Wait, wait. Where do I where do I find the uh I need a boat, don't I? I can't get out there like this. So maybe, maybe, I gotta go back to the town and walk through the, uh, God, those things always creep me out. Those fucking light dudes, because they just slowly slither in from off screen. Alright, she's gotta be like, I, I need a boat. Bro, I need a boat. Can I have a boat? I, I, I need this boat. With special abilities. I wish I could fly back home with one of these. Well, you can't! Hmm. She left to form a new island. That means she's across the water somewhere. Which means I have a uh, I'm so confused. Hang on, hang on. Maybe there's something in my inventory that... No. There's nothing in my inventory. Um... Shit, I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. Um... I guess I could ask the wizard for help. In fact, I should probably tell him, Hey, yo, that mountain ain't giving your hat back. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up the mountain. Ugh! Going up mountains in the snow is the worst, because... Okay, so last season, I went snowboarding a lot. And there was, like, one of the... One of the lifts that went up to, um... The... The, the more steeper slopes. Because, well, the smaller slopes were lame. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we went on to one of those, or we always ha had to hike up a short distance up those, and trudging up a hill in snowboard boots 
in like thick snow was horrible. Because you would always lose your footing and you. Ugh, it, just, it just sucks. Did you find the hat? It should be on top of Coachrim. Yeah, well, yeah, I found it, but he's not going to give it to me. Oh my god. This isn't helping. God damn it. Um. We gotta read the walkthrough again. Talk to Coach Trim during the winter. Go outside the bar during the autumn and use the knife with the big red flower. What? Why would I do that? What? What? Wait, no, this isn't the bar. This is the bar. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Whatever. It's what the tone is. Do the red flower, it's like warm love. Alright, there has to be a leap in logic there somewhere. I'm not the only one who's just a little bit weirded out by that, right? Hey, uh, Coach Rim, I got a flower for you. No. Alright, so I need the flower for something else. I definitely need this flower for something. All right, uh, I've been practically everywhere. Actually, that's not true. I haven't been to the castle in a while. All right, actually, what's this, what's this, what's this? I wonder what kind of stones these are. Can I not take them with me? Maybe there's something here that I missed. Hmm, the flag is waving very hard. Well, it's because it's windy, Fran. Something here, it's a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Okay, gotta see, how come these guys have flying cars, or rather, I guess, flying boats, and we still don't? We're in the 21st century, for Christ's sake. Somewhere there, do you have the password? Okay, I don't have the password for this guy. Who knows the password? Who can I get the password from? The Great Wizard, he knows everything. He doesn't know jack fucking shit, because he lost everything. Alright, alright, never mind. Um, I've been through all this stuff, and I don't think there's anything new here that's worthwhile. And all this stuff is the same. So, whoop de freaking do! What a waste of my time! God darn it, you guys! Ugh, I'm stuck again. I have a flower. I don't know why I have the flower. I just read that I was supposed to grab the flower. Only open during the fall and the winter. Um. Come in now. Damn it. I didn't need a password. <laughs> a certain wizard can help you. Alright. He he, I always go back to him and he's just like, Have you done the things yet? And I'm just like, No! Alright. Um, talk with the beetle, get inside the library. But I can't. Oh, wait a minute. Take the flower with the boat. Hang on. Go outside the barn and use the barn. Take the flower with the boat to the sea. Am I supposed to have access to the boat to the sea? Hang on. Am I supposed to have access to that boat yet? Because I keep standing at that boat and nothing has happened. You guys have seen. I have video. Actually, I haven't gone there with the flower yet. Let's try going there with the flower and see if now I can take the boat. Uh, I feel bad for using a walkthrough because it feels like I'm just sort of breezing. I'm just progressing for the sake of progressing. But at the same time, I really don't want you guys to sit there and, and stare at me trying to figure things out. So, yeah. Hello again, little creature. Uh, how am I supposed to get the boat? There's just got to be something that I missed. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start going through this and see the part where I missed the boat. Talk with the clockmaker and do the things. I did that. Did the mount till you see the top, then Polontris. Okay, what is up with Polontris? What is up with Polontris? I feel like there's got to be more plot behind that because the dude fell from the sky and he was all gashed up and stuff. Obviously, there are things from the other reality that are trying to come into this reality and fuck with this stuff, but things from the evil reality come to the third reality. 
All right. Um, go to the coast with the boat you can take during summer. Go summer and then pick up the broken fishing rod. That was not here. That was the other place. Oh, wait a minute. Does the boat only exist during the summer at that place? All right. Let's go check it. I think that might be the thing. I think I don't get it from him. I think I get it from the dock where it's just sitting. Oh, yep. It's all like decayed and stuff during this season. So let's get to it during the summer. Haha! -ha! I saw this boat earlier. Why did I... Now I know why people always yell at me in the comments. Alright, come on. We're going for a ride, man. I just shoved Mr. Midnight off. Alright, let's go. Oh, that must be the island. Hello, miss. I think I know why I need the flower now, too. I have a message for you. A messenger? What a good day. Yes, miss. I'm the messenger of love. But you're not pink. I mean, should I be? I'm brown and green love messenger. Huh. And does the messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course. We need to bring you back to your husband. No, he made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. Well, um, I understand that relationships can be tough, but that's just sort of a part of being, I guess you're not a human being, but, you know, being people in close proximity to each other. At some point, you're going to be upset with each other, and you're just going to have to work through it. This is how relationships work. You have to take the good with the bad and work through them, but ultimately it's a connection that's worth the trouble. He was so hot and I fell in love with that, but lately he was cold and boring, so I have to do volcano puns. Um, he used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me, to show his love for me, but this year nothing came up, and you know what? I am the one protecting him all the time. I want some credit for that, that's all. But miss, if I find that flower for you, would you come back? Uh, it's not like I have it already. Huh? Okay, so that's how I know I was supposed to get the flower. Alright. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's very different from all the other flowers. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom. So the reason you liked him was because he had a flower in his ass? Note to self. Glow, grow a flower in my ass. That's how I attract all the ladies. Alright, anyways. <laughs> Bring it to me now, shall return it to him. Alright, well, here it is. Miss, I found it. Look, look, the red flower just happened to be sitting right here in my pocket. Because <laughs> I like to destroy nature for no reason. It looks beautiful. You're in indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I'll see you there in winter time. I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's go back. That was... Wow. Um... <laughs> I I really wasn't expecting that. All right. Um winter time. Oh, look at you two. God, he's so big compared to her. Now, I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb to the top. Oh. I mean, I guess they're both volcanoes, which is weird, but, you know. Oh, and then, and then she sleeps. All, all you do is sleep on top of his head. God. Alright. You got your dumb fucking hat. Now give me some answers. Or at the very least, the password to the library. Uh, Here. It's yours. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great. Can you help me at all? The gift from the soil. The fruit. Okay, so one by one, we're regaining all of his tools. The creation of selective random elements. So we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? Um, I guess. I wouldn't just straight up eat a lemon, though. That's kind of a bad idea. It says that the book... Oh, god damn it. That's in the library, isn't it? The book may be hiding, so you have to be persistent and patient. All right, I'll go to the library. There's a password you'll need to get inside. Let me think. It must be something about how we learn, or... Hmm. I remember, the password is... Your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. Basic senses. So, shut them down before... All right, you gotta remember that one. So, what does it mean? 
It means that many times we let our understanding be manipulated. So don't always take things... Oh, our common sense. So does that mean don't read too much into things? Or does it mean don't take everything at surface level? Fuck. Um, it either means to don't overanalyze or analyze shit. Uh, uh, no one should ever tell you what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. Yeah, don't tell people or don't let people tell you what to believe, you guys. This is me telling you people not to let people tell you what to believe. There's irony in that statement, yeah, but... Shut up! Anyways, uh, that'll make you feel free to cherish every second of your life. Alright, so... Thinking and learning is pretty cool, I guess. Let's go to the library and get your fucking book. I, I remember when I was looking at the walkthrough, it's not quite a spoiler, but I saw an image of something that looks like a puzzle, which means I'm gonna have to do a puzzle. So, um, oh god damn it, why there's more dead people here? Do you remember, friend? You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. <laughs> That's kind of a funny thing to say. You're a nutty little girl, aren't you? Oh, are these the two girls? Oh, they were already dead, man. They were fused together. I released them from their suffering. You're gonna fucking guilt trip me for doing something good. Nutty girls must be punished. Holy shit. Do as I say. Do as I do, friend. Jump. How about no? I didn't want to kill them. They were already dead anyways. And they were like super evil stuff. Am I crazy? A little bit, just because of the pills. Once you're off the pills, you'll feel better. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. You'll be fine. Stop crying, Fran. We have puzzles to solve. We should keep on going now. Let's go to the library. Although... Oh, come on! Those girls were gonna pour a ritual on you anyways. You were gonna die if you didn't do something about it. Alright, I know the password. Do you have the password? Yeah, I do. Alright, what's the password? I don't remember the words. It was something like, your eyes and ears are limited sensors. Shut... Is that... No, that's not it. Don't be limited to your senses. And why is that? Because then we can truly see. Knowledge is everywhere. Even in darkness and silence. You can come inside. Have, guys, you're all like speaking in poems and riddles and stuff. The eagle flocks at dawn. Oh, please no. Is this the puzzle thing I got? I'm gonna have to solve this puzzle. How long have I been at this for? 33 minutes? Alright, well let's look, a little, let's look around the library a little bit and then we're gonna close up the episode. Oh, oh, this must be the key that I use to uh, figure out what I need for the puzzle. So this is one, two, three, four, and this is a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so one through five and six and seven are pretty, yeah, one through seven are pretty easy to remember, and then ten is just an X. So these two are the ones I gotta remember. Oh, and this is like, this is 20, that's 30, that's 40. So I'm sort of learning their script. So this is 1-1, one, one, and then that's a 21. Interesting. Hey, you know the right combination for the lock? No, miss, I can't. I haven't learned that at school yet. Alright, well, thanks anyways. How about you? What are you looking for? Hello, sir. What are you doing? Ah, I'm looking for my special book. Uh, why are you on a ladder? You have wings! The ladder was made to be used, of course. Okay, well, what if I need it? Then you should wait your turn. What an asshole. Alright, anyways. I got wings, but I'm not gonna use them. You just have to wait your fucking turn, because I want to stand on... God, fucking assholes. Um, sorry to bother you. Yes, dear? What's wrong? I need help. Well, it's equally easy as adding one and one together. Oh, okay. So one and one. 
Wait, is this the sum of everything before it? One and one is obviously going to be two. One, one, and two. So this one would either be four. It can't be four. Will this be three? And then this would be five. Right? Shit. Uh, I think it would be five. And then five, and that makes eight, right? Which is, this is, this is eight. Hang on. Five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight. Five plus eight equals 13, which is, what, is it 13? God, I've been away from school for so long, I, I forgot basic arithmetic. <laughs> this is five. This is eight. At least I think that's eight. Shit, my brain is so not working right now that I can't even do basic addition. Uh, no, that's a 12. And 12 plus 8 doesn't equal 21 anyways. Shit. Also, I don't even know what this is. That's not even a number, is it? 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 8 plus 5 equals 13. Then 13 plus 8 would equal 21. So I need the 18 one. Which one's the 18 one? Wait a minute. No, 13 one. I need a 13. There's no 13 here. What the hell? Hang on. Maybe I misread the numbers. Uh, That's an 8. That's a 10. Oh, that's a 3. Right, right. So just a single line is a 1. So I messed that one up. I messed this one up. This is a 2. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. And then 2 plus equals 3. And then 3 plus 2 is 5. Then that equals 10. And then this equals 13. There we go. Ha ha! I actually figured that puzzled out pretty easily. All I did was re... I, I got the wrong numbers in my head. I already solved that. I should turn the lever. There's a lever? Oh, here it is. Are you... Are you serious? It doesn't give me... It just plays music? All right. I'll figure it out next time. Anyways, you guys, thank me, thank you for joining me on this episode of Franbo. We've got another one coming up next week, same time. Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, and then there's a bunch of other stuff in between. Use Google if you're not familiar with time zones. Anyways, you guys, I am loving this game, and I actually feel like I'm capable of solving some of the puzzles. Some of the other puzzles, though, it's a little bit of a stretch in imagination because, well... I don't know. I, I didn't know I had to show the fishing rod to the lady at the stall. And everything seems very particular in the way you got to do things. But, you know, it's fine. There are some stumbles. But for the most part, I'm really, really liking Franbo. I hope you guys are as well. And I hope you guys will join me for the next episode. If you guys do like the series, bop that like button. And I will see you next time.